if you are earning a salary of 15,000 rand a month after deductions that will be your net that's money going to straight going straight to your bank account every month are you guys aware if we include your bonuses after 10 years working for the government or working for that private company that you would have earned 2 million rand in 10 years so if you are a teacher you are a nurse and you are a police officer please do stick around while we dive in on this uh, subject Otherwise, guys, this is a and SNL Academy today. I just want to talk about the money that we are earning from these companies or the government if you are working for the government. Because most of us will always say, hey, I can't be a millionaire, or hey, I'm not exposed to millions like some, like some, uh, like other people, or I don't have a privilege to be born in millions. Né? But in actual fact, guys, we are not aware that these companies we are working for, after a long period of time, they actually pay us millions hence that is why i'm saying if you are earning 15,000 rand per month including your bonuses that you get every year we all are away if you're getting a bonus you get it once a year unless you are working from a company from heaven then definitely you can get more bonuses but under normal circumstances you should get your bonus once a month so now if they pay you 15,000 rand like i did tell you guys and you're getting your bonuses you are getting paid more than 2 million rent in 10 years. Now, here's a big question. How much money have you saved in this 10 years? How much money have you managed to put away in this 10 years? So, you know, guys, what is our business now? It's education and information and investing and also finances. So, that is what we specialize in and that is what our business is all about education so now guys think about this if you are saving money eh? i just went through an article that was written on the 21st of may 2023 by business check and they are saying if you have like ten thousand rand to deposit most banks in south africa they can give you a percentage of like eight percent or almost eight percent in six months or annually né? so now here's the thing that eight percent might look great for you if you're just looking at it with a mind or a mindset of a non-investor or a person who doesn't know anything about investing né? i've done a video before and i always tell you guys around 2002 2003 capitex share price was three rand today it's more than a thousand rand that is over 20 years so you guys have a tendency or we have a tendency i must include myself in this of saying investing takes time it's long but you forget about the years that you're going to spend at your workplace so the same years that you are spending at your workplace trying to build your pension money trying to build your retirement fund and whatever you should also consider putting a small percentage depending on your affordability on some investment and we always tell you guys this easy equities have made it easier for us to invest because you can invest in easy equities buying stocks from apple from amazon from shoprite from mtn you name the company as long as it's listed you will find them there with only 50 rand we always tell you we're not selling a pyramid scheme we are not trying to get rich quick because it doesn't work at the end of the day at the end of the day all those uh, get rich quick schemes they always end in tears only those who start early uh, will reap the benefits or the fruits so we always tell you we need to play a long-term game we have to be patient we have to be consistent because rome was not built overnight you cannot build a house in two days ne? you know how it is if you have built a house you need a foundation you need to raise up your walls get your roof and then so on and so forth ne? so now 
if you want to build a portfolio, if you want to build wealth, if you want to retire early, if you want to see financial freedom, guys, it's not going to happen overnight. You need to be patient in order for you to see good returns. Yeah? So moving on, while I'm talking about savings, yeah? uh, most of these banks, they have a minimum requirement that they require you to have in order for you to qualify for these plans whereby they offer a nice percentage. A nice percentage will be around like seven, eight, nine, I'm not sure about 10%, because ne? because banks are not here for you. They are here to make money. Ne? Hence, that is why you hear people who work in the banks who are not in top management position complaining about how they are not being paid well. But yet, but yet we all know banks make a lot of money. Ne? So now, when they require this minimum deposit, if you look at it, it's not everyone who can afford it. Like, I'm one of those people who cannot afford it. Because some they might say, in order for you to qualify for an interest whereby on your savings account you can get like 9% or 8.5%, you need a minimum deposit of 50,000 rand or 100,000 rand. I am going to have 100,000 or 50,000 and I am going to give I don't know about you. Hence, that is why we always tell you guys, with as little as 50 rand, you can start investing with easy equities. Now, currently, the MCN share price is being sold at around or less than 200 rand. Now, we can today, how many? Six. Packs have you drank. So if you look at that, then quickly get back to reality, you will know what you've been, you would have been able to buy a certain amount of shares, maybe from the, from MTN or maybe even from ShopRite. And we always encourage you that things you are using, invest in them. You are using MTN, invest in MTN. It's your network provider. You are doing your groceries at ShopRite or Pick and Pay or Woodward. Oh, I don't comment about social media to send you closer Woodward. Invest on Woodward. Also make money now by Woodward being the brand it is. Ne? That's how smart people do things and that's what we need to do as beginner investors. Ne? Moving on guys. Ne? So now, if we say over a period of 10 years, and you are earning the salary of 15,000 rand and you are getting yearly bonuses from your company or from the government. And in 10 years, they would have paid you 2 million. So now we can start doing the math. After 20 years, it's going to be 4 million. After 30 years, it's going to be 6 million. Now, ask yourself uh, these questions, especially the people who are our seniors in that place. Do they look like they are people who have earned more than 6 million rent over a period of 30 years? Because they will tell you, I mean, I have 35 years of service, but you're still going hard at work. not going forward because now you can't lift your legs. You've been in this red race forever. And most of them, if you look around, they actually hate the work. And they are forever complaining because they feel uh, their employers should have made a difference in their life given the amount of years they've given of service. Can they forget you are responsible for your own finances as an adult of a sound mind. The company is not responsible for that. The government is not responsible for that. Financial literacy is something that you will have to learn on your own, unfortunately, because they did not teach this, they did not teach this uh, to us in schools. They did not teach uh, this to us in our homes, meaning our parents are not teachers. But anyways, we all know our parents also did not have the knowledge and the information about finance, financial literacy. Ne? But the only thing that they could tell us to save money. Ne? While in actual fact, 
Save your money is not going to get us into wealth or is not going to get us into financial freedom, which is what we are looking for in this channel. As beginner investors and the people who follow us and also people who consume our, co our, our content, you know, always tell you guys, you want to be financially free, we want to uh, create generational wealth, and we want to see ourselves retire at an early age. Because remember, we always tell you to earn, invest, and spend. So otherwise, we cannot just leave our jobs. Because where are we going to get the money to invest? So we start by earning the money from the corporate or from the private company you're working for, or the government, or wherever you're doing your hustle. And then you can invest. That is what is important. Hence, that's why I'm always encouraging you guys. Try to allocate a certain smaller percentage of your salary to investment. Then you can build from that as you grow with knowledge and understanding. Because if your foundation is uh, education, it becomes easier for you to invest because you know what you are doing and also you will be comfortable you know, with what you are doing. Now, the other thing that I just want to dive in before I leave you guys is the fact that money loses value over time. I like to, oh, to make this example and I always make it and I think I'll forever make this example when it comes to the inflation to just try and make people understand inflation in a simplified manner. The same suite that I was buying from a street vendor for 20 cents when I was a teenager. Today, I'm buying it for one penny. So now, here's a question that we need to ask ourselves. What is happening with your money that you are keeping in the bank or that you are saving? Guys, it is time for us to replace saving money with investing money. The reason is being, when you invest money, you are buying assets that appreciate in value over time. You are buying assets that appreciate or gain value over time. When your money in, is invested, you are only relying on the interest that is given to you by the bank. And you are all know, saving is nobody's friend. Saving is nobody's friend. So we need to stop living in a fantasy world and we need to stop uh, having unrealistic dreams. You know you want to retire early, you, you know you want to have financial freedom, please start investing. The only way that you can create wealth, the only way that you can have financial freedom, is through investment, not saving money. Not saving money. I'm not trying to discourage you if you are saving money and you have mastered that art and skill, but please do uh, take this into consideration. There's inflation and inflation is there to make your money lose value over time. So you can save for 20 years, but unfortunately, inflation is like a clip. It's forever. It will always be there and it will always make your money lose value. And that is why what you could have bought for 100 grand 20 years or 10 years ago if you go to your retail store you can no longer buy it for 100 grand inflation so your money is losing power in the bank but your money is growing if it's invested in good assets always do your personal research guys we always tell you the information we are giving you it's not alpha and omega but i feel that after the age of 31 of age we cannot live a life of wishful thinking umdala for wishful thinking and let's start acting let's start putting action on easy equity is a south african platform we told you they have a partnership with capital bank and discovery bank you are not going to make this this partnership if you are not like it. Otherwise, we appreciate your support. Thank you for being with us this far. Hopefully, you find the information and the content that we are delivering useful. Please do share uh, our, our videos uh, to people who you think
think they might be interested them in and also like if you to and subscribe to our channel a lot of people are watching our content they are not subscribing so please do click the subscribe button it's free you're not gonna pay anything you just subscribe and also press on your notification bell so every time when you drop a video you can also be the first person to get notified to watch the video otherwise to end invest and spend down